What's going on guys, this is your boy Astrom Sensei and welcome back to creating an action RPG using Unreal Engine 4. So in today's video we are going to be working on the blocking again. So we've only added the blocking as a blocking animation that you can hold the button and it just blocks while um, you are running or you are doing nothing, whatever. And uh, it doesn't really do anything when the enemy attacks you, you just get hit. So in today's video we are going to be adding the impact animation for the blocking. And we are going to make it so that we don't get damaged when we block the enemy's attack. So if the enemy attacks us, if we are blocking, they cannot damage us. But before we get started, make sure that you like the video and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And uh, check out my Patreon if you want to support the series and you want access to the project files. And yeah, super special thanks to my precious patrons who are supporting the series. And yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download the blocking animation. No, not the blocking animation. The blocking impact animation, which is greatsword impact. In my case, you can just type in block and you will get other stuff. I already downloaded the animation and I've placed it in my Maria folder. So I'm gonna open up my Unreal Engine project. And uh, to show you what we already did with the blocking, we are gonna try it out. So just hit play and take a look at what it looks like right now. So you can press the Q button to block and even if you are blocking, you will get hit. So yeah, we are gonna change that. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna import everything we've downloaded so that's just the blocking animation I don't know why I'm making it sound a little bit more um, you know greater but yeah we're gonna open the Maria folder which isn't here why did I close it okay one moment so yeah here you go this is the Maria folder we are just gonna drag in the greatsword impact animation and we're gonna choose her as the skeleton and hit import and as you can see we can now open up the animation and take a look yeah great so before we get started we are gonna right click oh sorry sorry my voice is <laughs> I don't know I'm choking for some reason yeah before we get started we are gonna click and create an anim montage which is gonna be what we are gonna be using instead of the animation itself because we want to change the slot to upper body and yeah like this so now it only plays in the upper body, just like the normal blocking animation. So now we are going to go and create... No, we're, yeah, we're going to go back to the blueprints folder and we are going to open the blueprint interface and we are going to create an action for the blocking, so a function. So yeah, we don't have one already, so we are going to add a new one function and I'm going to call it blocking. You know, the names for everything isn't very consistent, so we are going to change that later. And yeah, we're going to add in an output, which is also going to be called blocking. Oh, why did I? Okay, blocking with the O. Yeah, and a question mark. And uh, yeah, we're just going to place it in the combat and compile. Now we are going to go back to the blueprint base. Yeah, we're going to go to our BP base and we're going to take a look at what we did with the blocking. So there's something wrong with this. I'm not sure. Oh wait, I think I know what it is. Yeah, we have this blocking um, variable that we had earlier. So um, yeah, we are just gonna change the name because it's not working with the normal uh, one anymore and yeah as you can see it's great now so where is the blocking yeah it's this part so if you go in and take a look you should see that you have this um, branch so if we aren't dead then we then if we are holding the blocking key uh, we set the blocking uh, variable to true actually the name bothers me so I'm gonna change it again and replace the other G with just a uh, dot or whatever and yeah and uh, yeah we set blocking to true and we check if the weapon is drawn and we if we're still blocking <coughs> we play the blocking anim montage 
and if we release the blocking button we set blocking to false and we stop the animontas from playing which is the looping for the you know greatsword block so we are gonna use this but uh, you know differently so we're not gonna use this node itself but uh, what do we have here already oh, okay no problem we'll just leave it as, as, it, as it is yeah we're get, first we're gonna go to the functions over here and in the interfaces we are gonna change something so over here if you click on the blocking function um, we want to add the variable we have to this function so that they are connected so we are gonna go to the combat variables and add in blocking gets blocking and you know like this it's connected so back at the combat graph we are gonna go to check hit actually you know what no we are not gonna edit this yet we are gonna edit the um on hit other one so we're gonna open it and we're gonna take a look so when we get hit if we aren't dead we play the react you know impact um, animation and we subtract the health and if we are zero health we die in here so yeah we're gonna go back to the on hit anyway and we set movement on to be true after the oh wait why is this here yeah i think it's okay yeah all right yeah here false so if we are at zero health or sorry if we aren't at zero health uh false is what continues the code line so on hit if we subtract the health and the the character isn't dead we set movement to be back on and uh, we play a delay and then turn to the actor but uh, before that what we are gonna do is we are gonna check something else first so over here after the on hit what we want to do is we are gonna ask it something so after the dead actually before we get hurt if we aren't dead, we want to check again if we are blocking. So the condition is going to be blocking. And if it's true, we are going to play an anim montage, but it's not this one. It's the new one, the uh, blocking, uh, you know, impact. And if it's false, we want to get like the player hurt and all of that stuff. But yeah, if it's true, we are going to copy this get play anim montage and play the other one, which is Greatsword Impact. Where is it? There it is. Then what we are going to do is we're going to add in like this little um, pushback that the player happens to the player. Like when you get hit, you get pushed back just a little bit. Uh, so yeah because of how strong your blocking is and how strong the enemy attack is so what we are gonna do is we're gonna add a sequence and um, the the we're gonna check it make it the second one we are gonna add an impulse the target will be the character movement so where is it here it is and uh, yeah for this for the velocity we are gonna get the you know self so type in self and um, get actor forward vector And then we are going to multiply that by the number that we want to change. So it's the float. Like, for example, uh, we are going to type in multiplied by float like this. And basically, this is the number that will um, like how strong the player will get pushed back. So I'm going to go with minus 300 and we can always change that later and make sure to take velocity change and uh, what else yeah I <clears throat> yeah I think that's it for the impulse so after that yeah actually we can add a different one for the uh, you know the 
character like when the character gets hit so i think i'm gonna collapse that into a node i'm gonna call it pushback impulse and if we open that we can connect this one here like this and change the input um, like the input name to pushback strength and when we go back we should be able to edit here uh, edit it from here so we are gonna copy this and paste it here and we're gonna connect it after the yeah here so after the change health and we also need this like this yeah i'm gonna type in then like this and yeah we're gonna change the pushback strength to minus 300 like we did before and actually no this is this one's different so for the blocking it's minus 300 for this one i'm just gonna keep it at minus i don't know 150 i guess because when you're not blocking you don't get pushed back a lot also this sequence we don't need it anymore so i'm gonna delete it and um, instead of that we are gonna play sound at location so yeah here it is and this one like this and we're also gonna need it for the when the player gets hit so we are gonna copy it and place it after the change health so here it is and for the location we're gonna get the actor location so just drag out and get actor location and for the sound asset we are gonna choose something we already have and then replace it later so for the getting hit part when you're not blocking we're gonna go with something we've done before so let me get the volume down a little bit and uh okay that's too low because i don't want it to get into my microphone <laughs> Yeah, this one's good, I guess. Actually, no, we don't have the cue for it. Yeah, I don't care if she sounds like a guy at this point anymore. So yeah, we're just gonna use it. Attack VA3, which I made myself. I recorded it, and that's why I'm super proud of it. Although it's like very bad. And for getting hit, we are gonna try the... No, not the explosion, definitely not. Not the fire. Yeah, I think the voice voices we're gonna change that later. For now, we wanna find something acceptable. What's this one? Sword sound. No, this is also bad. Yeah, just equip the equip sound for now. We're gonna change them later, maybe in this video, I don't know. And uh, one more thing we wanna add, and that is we're gonna check after the player gets hit if they are still blocking. So we're gonna get the branch and place it here and connect it like this. I'm gonna rename this again to then. And yeah, if we are still blocking, we're gonna copy this, which is the, no, not this one. We're gonna just play an anime montage, which is gonna be like the blocking animation. And yeah, that way, like, it's it's not a problem anymore. So after you get hit, we are gonna block again. Actually, let's add a little delay after the pushback. So um, type in delay and we are gonna make that value, I don't know, 0 0.8, I guess. And compile. And we're gonna give it a try to see if it works. I think something is missing. So we're gonna try it out now. Come on, hit us, lady. Why is she not holding her sword right now? Yeah, she is now. So. 
Oops. <laughs> okay, now I'm blocking. I know blocking to the side isn't very good. Yeah, it works. Yeah, actually, we're not gonna need this delay, or we can make it like very small, so maybe 0 0.4, I guess, and compile and play and try it out again. <laughs> Yeah, we don't need it, so we're not gonna do it. We just check if we are still blocking right after the, uh, you know, getting hit. Come on, lady. Yeah, it's great, but uh, the pushback is very, very weak. So I wanna go with like 1000 and try it out. So here we go, 1000, and for the, without the blocking, we're gonna make it, I don't know, 800, I guess. So we're gonna compile and try it out again. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a little bit better. What about without the, uh... <laughs> Perfect. All right. But uh, yeah, it's still so weak, so we're gonna go with 1500. And I think we already had one for the getting hurt without the. Um, like, uh, we had one for the getting hurt. I'm not sure where it was. Actually, I think it was here. No, it's not. Or is it? No, it's not. Okay, no problem. We're gonna go back here and try it out without this and see if it works. <laughs> yeah, it still works. All right, this is great. Yeah, perfect. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm going to remove this. And uh, what else can we add? So we can add particles, but I think I'm going to make them their own video. So, uh, yeah, I think this is it for the blocking for now. Uh, we are going to work on other stuff for it later. For example, you might get damaged depending on what weapon you're using, like what uh, shield or whatever you're blocking with, or, you know, based on your stamina and all of that stuff. So yeah, it's going to get more complicated later on, but for now we are trying to make like a very basic game and we're going to improve on that after we have like something playable, like an entire level you can play and win from the start to the end. So yeah, I think this is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and are looking forward for more content. And uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you are new to my channel. And um, yeah, super, super special thanks again to my precious patrons who are supporting the series. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Take care and bye.